Look at that. Look at that. See? Piece of cake. My, my mold falls apart. I've done this before. <laughs> no, I, I normally don't use slip. I would just go in now, score it. I don't have any uh, objection to using slip it just takes time and I found if I score it well enough I don't need it and then I'll just try to take a coil and uh, make sure it sticks and I'm going to be pressing a brick motif on here so I've got to brace the inside you know it would be I could put three in or one and uh, I don't know what why how I make that decision um, normally these would be the same thickness as this. All try to keep the same thickness throughout. And I, I do attach this down there. <clears throat> okay, so here what I do is, after all this work, you say, gee, I'd, I'd like to see it come out. So sometimes I do use slip here. We're not going to save this one. We're not? Nah, it's not savable. You're going to have another one. So then I just drop it down there and try to more or less follow that design. Okay, so let's pretend that I actually spent a little more time there, maybe a little slip so it would stick and take it off. And you've got the basic form. If you come tonight you'll see uh, a lot of stadiums I made and they're all made like this all with cardboard I would uh, score this okay then I just roll out some coils and get rid of that okay and then here, I, I usually just go like, I don't even score it, I just go like this. You know. So I'll clean this up a little bit. If your cardboard mold is on target and with nice clay, you can come, you don't have to touch it up much. It's, uh, kilns out there have steps that you just slide into a certain spot, but and the width of the steps and the height of the risers kind of depend on the size of the duck. Try to get some realism into it which never really works but and I'll need some more clay here I'm gonna go through and make a hole there so I mean it's inevitable so I'll just uh, pile some clay up there and just phew, improvise okay. well anyway that's a quick step that way you don't lose them you give up a little space for your pots okay this is the front of the kill. I want to put a door in there. So I'll just uh, cut that out and I'll just scrape it out. It's not really perfect or pretty, but it's good enough to, okay. So now I'm ready, to, we're ready to put the bricks in. Let's try this. I have only one brace in there. So. And the same thing for the front. Oh, I should just get started. But I just do the same thing there. Then I put the old peephole in there so the duck can look through like, like that. As far as the chimney goes, uh, there are two kinds I've been using, and one of them is a lot easier than the other. But most wood fire kilns, the chimney's in the back. Not here. I don't, I've never had a comment on that though, because a lot of mine 
have the chimney there. And then I just take a different diameter dowel and uh, stick it in there. Attach it, and nobody will know that it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be <laughs> over here. You can make a duck, or make a little duck. We'll try this. I believe I don't know how many of these I've made, but I've made a lot. Oh yeah, probably. I, it re it doesn't matter. A lot of people say, "How long did it take you to make that?" How many ducks in there? And I would say, it doesn't matter how long it took. It's just, you could have taken me an hour or a summer. It doesn't matter. It just depends on how good it is. So I just sort of pretend I'll put a foot on them. Okay, now the head's a little small. <laughs> 